Hi, this is Yogesh from Automotors Technica. So in this video, I will be showing you how to install the Wi-Fi driver for Linux Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, which has got 4.15 version kernel. Uh, by default, this kernel does not have the Wi-Fi driver for Realtek uh, controller. So what happens here is we have to download the source code, compile it and install the kernel module. So before getting into the compilation, what we have to see is we have to update the laptop with the build tools like the GCC compiler and make utility. So I have listed the prerequisites for you a newcomer uh, or who wants to compile a driver on uh, Linux Ubuntu. So here are the prerequisites for the system uh, for build essentials. Uh, from the command uh, window what I would suggest is uh, this laptop has got a driver for a cabled LAN that is the LAN cable you can plug in into the Ethernet port and uh, get the update that is you type sudo apt-get update to update the latest packages uh, which are been at the repository. So to install GCC use command apt-get install GCC and to install make you can use apt-get install make. Alternatively, I would suggest using apt-get installed build essential. So build essential will check whatever the packages which are not present on your system and will uh, create a build uh, environment uh, for uh, your debug and development purpose. There is another alternative method where you can have uh, git and dkms packages. Uh, git is necessary to download the source code from github and dkms is another utility where if you are not acquainted with the compilation of device driver source code you can use the dkms. So I would be following the procedure one which is nothing but direct compilation of the source code uh, using a C compiler. So once you install git that is uh, get this git and type the whole string in the terminal which I have done just now I got a downloaded folder that is rtl wi-fi underscore new from this link from the github and it clones into your downloads directory so these are the files uh, for compilation purpose for the safety side i have copied this into another folder which i will show you later so after downloading the source code the procedure one is which I am going to follow that is the compile the driver using make and make install so for uh, Ubuntu you have to use sudo command uh, for other Linux flavors like Fedora and so on you can directly use make in root user Okay, so let's go into the terminal. So this is the folder which has been downloaded and I made a copy of it just to see the compile. So what I'll do is I'll go into the original folder. And these are the files. So these are the C files and we have uh, the chipwise uh, source codes. 
So if you go into the readme, so it shows uh, the drivers present for these chipsets. If we are looking for RTL 8723DE, so I think that this laptop has got RTL 8723DE chipset. So I would like to get this package from the repository and install the code. Well, uh, I would like to compile this first and see how it is getting compiled. So here your kernel modules are generated after the compilation. Uh, so next is sudo make install. So once you enter the sudo make install, it will install the kernel modules that is .ko files into the respective directory. Uh, I would like to pause the video here because uh, I will be downloading the source code for 8723DE as well. Uh, continuing with the build environment, I have also downloaded the RTL uh, Wi-Fi device driver which is the extended for uh, the new chipset that is 8723 DE which is suspected to be the uh, controller for this laptop. Uh, but before going into the details, since I am carrying the compilation uh, for the the, the previous uh, driver, I would like to stick onto this and see whether this driver is taken by uh, the system or not. So we have done the uh, sudo make part of it. Uh, the sudo make part of it has been uh, done. Uh, so the next step is to sudo make install so this sudo make install will install uh, the kernel modules which are compiled uh, right away so you can ignore this make file uh, warning that is not needed as of now Yes, so the install of RTL Wi-Fi is succeeded. So 
so there is a shortcut of uh, probing the controller if this works is fine otherwise I need to reboot the system Uh, yes, the, the kernel module is been loaded, but uh, there is a firmware load error. So the developer says that if there is a firmware load error, then I need to reboot the system. So I'll reboot the system and show you the results. So as of now, stopping the video to reboot the system. Yeah, hi this is Yogesh here so after I reboot the laptop what I see is uh, the firmware for uh, the previous uh, compilation from the folder RTL Wi-Fi firmware which I have highlighted here has got uh, only the 8723B firmware so what did I do is I just typed this command as instructed uh, by the readme file uh, which I will show you the readme file so it says uh, to install uh, RTL 8723DE you need to have that particular firmware as well so what did I do is I just downloaded the firmware uh, driver part of uh, 8723DE from github and uh, the I have run the command uh, which you can see it here that is git checkout origin extended hyphen b extended so if you see uh, I have these uh, the driver which is new extended branch downloaded from the github so you need both of them and after you run uh, the checkout for extended you need to rerun the compilation so first I'll make clean so that my previous uh, compiled modules are wiped away and start a new compilation yes it is getting compiled until it gets compiled fully I'll just pause the video for a while to get it comp compiled now and I will install the modules if you see here the 8723DE is present well the module is installed so just a trial if it gets uh, loaded So I will reboot the system now because uh, this was the previous version of the firmware which has been loaded. So 
I'll since I have compiled the new uh, firmware uh, with the new driver for 8723DE and there is a firmware file for this particular chip uh, I would like to restart the system once again so I'll stop the video for now to restart the system okay, when I rebooted the system I got my Wi-Fi signal here and I am able to browse any stuff using the Wi-Fi So, so friends this is my web page and I can browse using my Wi-Fi connection so to summarize what we did is we need to download the extended branch of driver code that is source code along with 8723 DE firmware and use these two steps sudo make and sudo make install and after a reboot it is better to select the antenna level 2 to boost up the signal of the Wi-Fi to have a good connectivity between the laptop and the router so for the maximum signal gain uh, these are my notes what I have done here so for maximum signal gain you have to run this command so that in the next uh, reboot of your laptop you get a very good signal here so here I am going to stop this video uh, subscribe to this channel automotive technica this will help me to create more videos and uh, your comments will boost me to create more videos and improve the videos so one of my uh, subscriber uh, asked me to record this video uh, using the screen capture so this video is on screen capture and I believe this has come better than before so thank you stay blessed bye bye